helped me find a new journal for a manuscript, which was desk rejected. This study compares how elementary school children read from paper books versus tablets. There are a lot of different journal finder tools out there. I'm going to start off with this one called Journal Author Name Estimator. Now Jane drew my eye because of a focus on open access journal. And I publish open access as much as I possibly can. Looking through these journal titles, there's a big focus on developmental psychology journals, which yeah, this is with kids, but it's not really looking at development or uh, pediatrics journals about various health and disorder issues. So this doesn't really seem to be all that helpful. Next up, we have Springer, and I chose them because my institution has an open access agreement with them, so I can publish open access without paying $3,000 in publishing fees. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, EdTech Research and Development, good journal, but I've only gotten desk rejects from that. This is a review, reading and writing, that one might work. It is a reading study. Science of Learning, hmm, not quite. Ed, an EdTech journal, that could be good, but I just published in them. So these actually look pretty good. Although as I start getting down here, it is off topics. Next up, let's give Taylor and Francis a whirl. Reveal suggested journals. And computers in the schools, okay. Not about computers, not about schools. Journal of Education Research, yeah, maybe. Reading Writing Quarterly, maybe. Reading Psychology, they rejected me and some other ones. This actually looks like the best of the options so far. Although, why about college students when it's kids? Why about learning difficulties when it's not about that? Tools are fun and handy, but honestly, the best way I know of to find a good journal is to look at your own reference list. So I'd give the following ratings for Jane. I'd give it a two out of five. It really was not very helpful at all. For Springer, I'd give it more of a three out of five. It had some good options, but some just really missed the mark. Taylor and Francis, I felt like had the most accurate options. Regardless of which journal you choose, make sure that you have cited something from it in your references. That's important because as an editor, how can I see that your work is relevant to my journal if you aren't citing anything from my journal? I'd love to hear how other people pick their journals for publication.